daddy entrepreneur. We was living in fear. Mama didn't shed a tear. Had no ride through the year. Realest bitch through it all. She wasn't scared to fall. She wasn't dropping no draws. Made every visit in the feds. It was like she said a pledge. Daddy took her through hell, but she never prevailed. Hey y'all, it's your girl Queen K, 21 year old artist. I've been rapping about four months now. Really, I call this shit speaking because I just started writing out of nowhere. I started writing after I had this talk with God. At 18, I had started stripping and had got in the streets. Vanessa, stripping, moved to Miami. And since I've been back, I've learned. I've been in situations. It don't matter if a nigga have a money or if a nigga broke. That's why I grind hard. If a nigga think you ain't having shit, guess what, baby? A nigga leave you down bad on your ass without shit. Never trust them, never love them, wear a condom when I'm fucking put it all in my duffel, rolly spinning like a shuttle, hit his ass off the muscle. Baby, one thing about it, if you don't break the nigga, he gonna break you. Mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. So, that's how I started writing, never trust them, never love them. Been that bitch, how I'm that bitch? I been that bitch, I got 12,000 on my wrist. Niggas too suckerish, I charge 5,000 just to kick. Cuban links around my neck, hoes busy chasing dick. And you niggas click the click, I'm back to back like Mickey and Mitch. All my songs have meaning behind it, all my shit big facts. Matter of fact, don't even call me no rapper. Cause all the rappers I know cappers, don't call me no rapper. That's why I call myself speaking on the beat. How I been that bitch? Go back and listen to Never Never Love Em. I got a six bedroom house, got an 18 bins, but I never worked a job and I never had a friend. I can't make this shit up, man. And I would really appreciate if y'all would stop comparing me to these uh, female rap artists, okay? Me and they mind, I'm not even gonna say, I'm not, I don't even look at materialistic shit. That shit's so old to me because I done had so much shit. Me and, me and bitches mind frame not even the same, okay? I know the secret to life and I know the code to life. I live by the power of the mind and the tongue. So that's why now everything I say and I, I say and I think, I watch specifically what I say and I think. Because you can speak, I speak everything and see everything into existence. I can I can think for a motherfucker too long and they gonna purr. So I just know the I just know the secret and code the life now. So y'all stop comparing me and saying this bitch started rapping cause she wanted to join the bandwagon and nah, all this shit. Nah, baby, my hustle is personal. This shit between me and God. I started writing and put this shit on the beat. And when I got in the studio, I knew how to ride the beat. You know what I'm saying? I had I I done had plenty of motherfuckers cross me, but I done had Two motherfuckers I give my all to. You hear me? They crossed me. They did music. So you gotta be careful how you do people because people gotta give gotta get your dream to a motherfucker that you cross. Do that make sense? You just gotta be careful how you do people. I just know the secret to like now, so I do right by people, I do well. I'm a real bitch. I'm really say calm. I don't play no games. Shit, I don't know, ask me something famous, what, what's up, I don't know. Is the shit you rapping about really true? Is the shit I'm rapping about really true? I can't make this shit up. Everything I'm rapping about, my life, you hear me? Never trust them, never love them, wear a condom when I'm fucking put it all in my duffel, rolly spinning like a shuttle, hit his ass off the muscle, pain fucking, I ain't cuffing, seduce his ass with my cash, hit the gas on the dash, Damn, that's all it takes to get you niggas with some cash. Y'all see a bitch having some shit and y'all gone. Seduce his ass with my cash. Hit the gas on the dash. Damn. Niggas see a bitch having some shit and they gone. Just like the bitches. So how can you niggas even... Niggas can't even... And been that bitch. Charge 5000 a to kick. <laughs> they know I ain't lying. Motherfucker know I ain't lying. Them big facts. I used to go out to eat with a motherfucker and I used to have five, seven thousand in my to go to go uh carry so I can't make this shit. What else would you want to know? 
So far, like you said, you ain't never worked no job. I tried to work a job one time. Um, it's serious. When I was 17, I had just yeah, this when I was trying. To, I was going to school. I had graduated when I was 17, so I think I had worked that job two, three days, baby, sitting on my motherfucking feet, feed her and some motherfucking bed dinner. Manager telling me what to do, I knew that shit wasn't for me. And I was always 15, hanging with bitches that was 18 and 19. So by the time I was 17 and 18, they was 22 and 21. So that's how I was going to school. I went to, I went to college for a year. But when I turned 18, my bitch that was always in the streets, that's where I was. You know what I'm saying? You're a product of your environment. Not only that, I was brought up in the streets. The only, the only person in my family that really went to school was my mama and probably one of my aunties other than that. Um, I want to shout out my strippers there. There's three type of bitches in the game. It's the bitches who the guy really belongs to because I respect the game. It's the bitches with the gentlemen of leisure. It's uh, it's the bitches that's going to use the game as a stepping stool and it's the bitches that's in the way just in the game just to play shit. And them the bitches that I don't respect. I respect the game, so I respect the bitches that got pimps. I ain't gonna lie, I respect them bitches. And I respect the bitches trying to use the game as a stepping stool. Uh, I advise all the bitches that's in the way, in the game, please get the fuck out the way so my real bitches can get some money. Please, you hoes, please move around. You hoes playing. Baby, we trying to grind for a dollar for a lifetime, not a dollar for tomorrow, baby. We really trying to stack this shit up and get some shit. You hoes grind in the club and shit, get y'all the money. Y'all ready to go out uh, Friday night, Saturday night. Y'all ready to go uh, fuck off on a nigga. I ain't talking about the hoes that got pimps. Okay, if that's what you choose to do with your life, baby, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't advise that either, hoe, because when you, once you get through getting a nigga all your money, then what? You just going to be an old ass hoe, dried up. He didn't soak you up. So I would advise every bitch... Get, no matter what you doing, how you doing it, baby, get your own bag. Because in my 21 years of life, I done seen it don't matter if a nigga got money or if a nigga ain't having shit. If a nigga think you ain't having shit, a nigga leave you damn bad on your ass. So y'all always get y'all a bag. What I say, break niggas, get money, or a nigga gonna break you out. So which one? Which one is gonna be? Cause I feel damn sure I ain't getting broke my mouth. Mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. It's a wrap. What's up, famous? Like since you've been doing this music, like I'm saying, like why, why did you quit the strip and then come back to doing the music shit? I stopped dancing when I was 19, going on 20 in uh, 2016 when I met my ex. Shout out to Big Ray G from Cali. Free him, free a real one. Me and him are not together. Uh, I ain't been with him in almost two, three years. But anyways, that's how I started stripping. I mean, that's how I stopped stripping. Um, my son fucked around, met the plug. I'm in Cali doing drugs. That's who I'm talking about. So that's how that's how I was pulled to be out the game. He did not take me out the game, but that, that's how I was pulled to be out the game. Um, and I ain't been back since. Thank you, God. I ain't been back since because the game is not what it used to be. When I was in the game, you know, pussy was just a, 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 like, a, like a catch, but something you could never get. Do that make sense? It was supposed to be an avenue to get the money. Your mouth is what gets you paid, but now these hoes, they just, you know, they just throw it and two, three hundred and it's gone. And hey, I, 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 can't, I can't compare because I used to, when I was in the game, I could be right here and a motherfucker can be in New York. And if I say drop me four, five racks on my account, that's what they was doing. So I don't even think I could ever, I don't know, even think I could get back in the game. Um, but that's how I started. That's how I got out the game from stripping. And so, okay, how I started rapping. I was talking to God after I had been through so many situations, after I had been crossed by so many motherfuckers, and I was just telling God, you know, whatever it is you want me to do, I'm going to do it and use me. And out of nowhere, I started writing. I don't even call myself a rapper. Because these rappers kept too much, and I don't care about nothing I write. Everything I write, every line is my life. So what was that first song you went in the studio and dropped? 
Never trust them, never love them. Wear a condom when I fucking put it out. Let my duffel rally spinning like a shuttle. Hit his ass off the muscle, pain fucking, I ain't cuffing. Seduce his ass with my cash, hit the gas on the dash. Damn, that's all it takes to get a nigga some cash. Show a nigga a little something, get this and that, he gone. I'm rapping about my life, baby. Every, every line, it's my life. Real life. Every line. Left, rapping about my past life. Let me say that. I'm rapping about my past life. Every line. So, like, since you've been doing the music and shit like that, I know, like, you was getting more money, like, doing the other shit, like, when you was in the game, like, so. You're damn right. A you thousand, get... a thousand dollars, a thousand dollars a night, it, oh, a bad night. You damn right. But now, since I've been back, I have two big, well, when I, uh, when I first moved back and got out the game, I was 19 when I was 20, that's why I said I was 20 out the game. But really, if you really want to put it, I was really 20 all the way out the game. When I had, when I was 19 going on 20, it was still like one foot in, one foot in put out do that make sense yeah I was making more money dance because I was uh I was able to go in the club and get my money now I have to wait and for my money to come to me because I got two businesses one of them is a partnership with my grandmother and the other one I got my own Mississippi wholesale so I'm able to sell y'all a car or y'all can come sign out as a dealer and it's two different locations in two different states real talk so like you went and took your money and invested it in, into businesses? You damn right. Why not? The game has always been a stepping stool for me. It was never something that I wanted to stay in. It was never something that I wanted to broadcast. A motherfucker can't pull up a stripper picture of my ass. Do you hear me? It was I was I never been this type of bitch. So that's why I don't even like when motherfuckers compare me to these uh past stripper bitches. I never I was never this type of, mm -mm, nah. So is you getting paid off the music? Am I getting paid off my music? No. So uh, what was your whole purpose to do it? You, you doing it? You ain't doing it for the money? No, I'm not doing it for the money. I'm doing it because I got a message for my young ladies and my women and my bitches out there. I got a message for y'all. That's why I'm doing it. I told God to use me. You know what I'm saying? So if, a, if you don't break a nigga, a nigga gonna break me. I been that bitch. I charge 5000 just to keep. Time ain't free, baby. You better charge a nigga something. Nah, this shit ain't supposed to be for sale, but this shit ain't free either. Remember that. Your shit is not for sale, but it's not free either, baby. That's not how the game go. It ain't how life work. That water ain't even free no more. Yeah, so like, what's the message in your music? Is it like to motivate the females? It's to motivate my trap bitches, my trap niggas, the females. Grinding and niggas grinding to keep going hard, keep going hard. Yes, yeah, it's, but it's really, it's really for my women now. It's really for my women now to keep going hard and to stay focused and fuck a nigga. Get your money, baby. You don't, you shouldn't even see no nigga until you get all your shit together. If you wanna ask me, especially if he not know what ass it. So y'all subscribe my YouTube, which is Queen K. Y'all see a girl on a boat. Y'all follow me on Instagram, which is Queen K. Elise. Y'all add me on Facebook, Katera Elise on Facebook. Baby, I'm a last of a damn breed, really steady get. I don't get no fuck about losing shit, so you know I'm not gonna lie. You hear me? The only motherfucker I'm gonna be losing is you if I lie, so what I'm lying for, I'm not scared of that. Turn my W into M, turn my L's into less. My old nigga was a sucker, so he missed out on his blessing. I've been that bitch, I got 12,000 on my